All right, this is um, going to be a little quick video showing what I came up with. Uh, I don't know if uh, anybody else has done this, but uh, I thought it was a neat idea. Uh, this is a POI. Um, it's a, a movie theater, a drive through movie theater that I found in the compo pack for uh, using a nitrogen map. And I edited it a bit, turned this into a landing strip and a, a takeoff and landing strip for my uh, gyrocopter or whatever. You know, I was messing around with what I could do. Um, I found that if you crash your gyrocopter, if you come in and crash it into uh, hay bales, you don't take any damage. That's a tip. Uh, it doesn't seem like you take any damage. <coughs> I might be wrong, but... Um, I haven't been hurt on it yet. I've done it a few times. But anyway, here's what my idea is. Um, now, this is all set up. This is the very last one in a series. It comes around here, and it comes around, and it goes around, and it goes around, and around, and around, and around, and around, and around down. So they're all destroyed in sequence. The topper is dis destroyed first, and then as you go down. And I've got electric wires here for the electric fence. And if they make it past this perimeter, uh, I found this, this this POI here, and there was this little bunker back here. And I all I did was beef it up a bit, you know, with the, the metal. And like I said, uh, or like I'm saying, you can probably have this by level 50. I don't know. Um, depending on how you build your shit, I guess. But we've got uh, an, a wide open pit with a ladder going straight down here. And you want this wide open. I doubled it up on, um, you know, using plates, but you don't have to if you don't want to. Um, but I got this pit and it's going straight down, so uh, you want to be at the end of it. So as they come down here, they're met here with um, the first, or the second, rather, electric wire. And um, they're getting zapped. And if they make it past that, there's another electric wire with a relay. Now this one is, this is hooked up here, this motion sensor is hooked up to a, a speaker. When they hit this point, that's this will go off, send a message to the speaker, and then I'll know that they have made it to the first checkpoint right here. And then they'll come down here and they'll hit here and they'll get zapped and whatnot. Now, if they make it to this third one here, so it is, if you don't count, yeah, if you if you don't if you're not counting the one the outer perimeter one, this would be the third one down the ladder. Not only are they getting zapped, but this is the um, this is another checkpoint. This is checkpoint two, in which time they will get hit, not only with uh, electricity, but also with the uh, spike trap down below. You know, they'll get hit in the nuts with that, and the alarm will go off. Same thing, and same thing here. Alarm goes off. Spike trap. Spike trap continues. They get electrocuted again come down here, same thing again. Spike trap, electrocuted. So they've got three layers of spike trap and electrocution to go through. Two layers with just electrocution. And then down below here, <coughs> it's straight up just electrocution. Now if there's guys up top here on this second rung, Obviously, if they're setting off the the um, motion detector, whoever's whatever zombie is standing here is getting zapped and getting hit with the dark trap as well. But I've got double lower and upper electric wires going here, and double and lower electric wires going here. And if all of this fails, and this, like I said, this is going in sequence, so. They're going back and forth and back and forth and back and forth down so that this one fails. So if the outer perimeter fails, these are all intact. If this, if this one fails, 
this one will still work. If this one fails, this one will still work. If this one fails, this one will still work. So on and so, so forth, all the way straight down until you reach the bottom. Now, if all else fails, of course, at that point, if they're down here, you would be behind this fence or this gate here, fighting them off as they're getting zapped here, trying to keep them to a minimum in here because you don't want them really getting compounded in here. They'll start bashing these and they'll start bashing those and whatever and destroying them in here. You want to take them out as quick as possible if they actually do make it to this point. I haven't had them make, them, make it to this point in a night yet and I'm about, I'm about to show you. Now, if they do bust all of these, and this is the very last two to go, will be these down here. Okay? These ones and these ones up top here will be the very last ones to go. <coughs> Once these are destroyed, there's no more electricity. You still got this here. You run back here. You turn this switch on right here. And if you notice, there's wires going behind the wall here. Whoops. Whoops. No, no. I didn't want to do that. Yeah, let's just do that. I didn't want to pick that up, so. Behind here, I've got last resorters. Two there, two there. The front and back. So all you do on that end, if all these have failed, for those back and behind there, you come around here, this corner here, as you're fighting them, you stand in here, boom, you see them, they're getting destroyed, they're not getting zapped anymore, you come around here, flip that switch. Now they're getting zapped. See? Flip the switch. They're not getting zapped anymore. So, this is your fail safe. This is your last resort electrical. If they make it past, if they could destroy, if they destroy those two and those two in the back behind here, if they make it past that, well, you can fight them off as much as you as you want back here. Well, you've got this last bastion of hope in which you can set yourself up with some food, some water, you know, and a weapon with some ammo if you're smart. And you can fight them off here as much as possible. Reinforce this one. And there's, I mean, you have to make it through. There's no way they, they might destroy some of your base in here and whatnot coming in here to get you. But this will be over by morning. There's no way they can make it to this point. There's no way. And I'm about to demonstrate that right now. Let's turn this all on. Now everything in here, this whole corridor, all the way up to the top, is armed and ready to go. See? Now, I don't even need that actually right now. I can just stand right as close up to here as possible. Okay. Uh, let's see. All right. Let's um, speed up time a little bit. Let's. This is the Horde Night, day 14. So let's do a quick little jaunt into Horde Night. Let's get Horde Night started here. 6093. 2193. <coughs> Alright, here we go. I'll turn this on here. Make sure they come in force. I never hear them destroy anything up there. Rarely do I hear them touch anything, like um, hit a wall or anything like that. They all just walk right into the fence. Here they go. Get their attention, make them come down. Now, right now, they can get me if they if they can. There's nothing stopping them other than the electricity and the dark, the low 
one sole dart trap. And from what I understand, the dart trap is easy to make and it's cheap to make. And it's only one of them. What the hell is that? Where'd he come from? Wow. That, uh, totally glitched in there. That's the first time I've seen that happen. That fucker shouldn't have been there. He glitched. Anyway, let's watch the, let's watch the show. See how far they make it. Um, I've got it set to 32 zombies. Oh, look at that. It's like a little conveyor belt. Yeah, i got it set to 32 zombies on a horde. Um, and other than that, it's, uh, I think... I'm not using any mods or anything. I'm using nitrogen. Nitrogen is a combo pack to make the map, that's it. So you won't find this POI on vanilla, I don't think. But other than that, um, yeah, I mean, I'm using the, the I'm using the, the cheat mode and the, um, uh, uh, the dev mode. Just for testing purposes, you know, on the build it and whatever, to uh, quicken the time. I mean, you know, I've been playing this game for so long. I'm not going to take the time to do this. I'll just do it, you know. I'm not going to go through the, the motions of actually building up the character and, and playing the game just to build this base just to show what it can do. As far as a Horde Knight, an easy Horde Knight base that... Um, you know, like I say, maybe by the time you're level 40 or 50, maybe, maybe even earlier, might be even level 20 or 30, I'm not sure, um, you might be able to do something like this. Um, but this is, this could be a Horde Knight base that you don't have to worry about nothing. Um, I mean, as you can see, I'm, they can come and get me anytime they want to, if they would. I ain't scared. I'll let this play through until the horde ends. And once it gets quiet up top, I'll, uh, I'll quit the video here. We'll see how far they can get. See if we can get one down right in front of me in the meantime. I'm going to continue to uh, tickle them, so to speak draw some attention to myself. Maybe we can keep this horde going for a while. I don't know, I've already been an hour and I haven't touched a single one yet, aside from the dog that glitched down here. I don't know how the hell he made it down here. Like, that shouldn't have been possible. That must have definitely been a glitch. Come on, boys. Another good way of getting their attention.
one of the top outer perimeter is damaged enough that it's shorting out now. So it's not that one section is not doing anything. Um, it's just shorting out. But that's no big deal because we're still. Yeah. Okay, that's way up there. You know, it's kind of boring, to be honest. But, like I said, people were asking for a horde base, a uh, safe horde base. Um, I mean, here's a safe board base. You want a safe board base? Here's a safe board base. A wide open safe board base. You know, I know a lot of people, they, a lot of people got a death corridor, but, um, They've got their death corridor where the zombies are walking in. I don't know if anybody's ever tried where they're coming down a ladder, though. <coughs> oh, excuse me. So, you know, I've seen this POI. I came down here, I looked at it, and I said, you know what? That would fucking work. And um, sure enough, uh, like I said, uh, I've done this a few times, um, a few different horde nights, uh, tried it, tried it, tried it, tried it, same result every time, um, I can make it right straight through, um, and the energy lasts, all of, all of the energy and everything is all contained inside here, um, yeah, I've only been through one so far, yep. I made it right here, huh? How about that? There's dogs. Give me somebody else out here. Whoops. Alright, well, I'm out of ammo. I'm out of ammo. 66% visible or whatnot, that's that's enough to uh, get get their attention. Now those dogs are up there destroying something. Uh, I'm willing to bet what they're up there destroying is those gates for the outer perimeter. But that's okay. The outer perimeter is, uh, you know, that's the first... It's not meant to, to stop them, it's meant to slow them down, really. This corridor here is meant to stop them. This is the stopping. So it doesn't really matter if the dogs destroyed all the gates and all of the wires up top on the perimeter. The perimeter can go. They, they won't be able to destroy... Uh, any of this corridor down here because apparently dogs can't come down corridors anymore. They can't go down uh, um, ladders. I don't know why, but they can't. Well, this guy's pretty tough. Is he going to make it to me? Yep, they're up 
they're destroying those gates. Anyway. The dog's getting killed now. Oh, it's so good. Oh, good. Yeah, I'll just let this ride either until the uh, horn ends or um, I took a little damage there. Until either the horde night ends or um, or the horde ends. The so night or the or the horde, whichever ends first. If it makes it through the morning, well, then it just proves that it can work. If this horde lasts all night. I'm still 66, so... Yeah, there's still zombies coming. Oh, I'm damaging. This is 32 zombies all at the same time. Also, um, you know what? I've got zombies I'm walking. Let me stop this. Um, let's, let's make them run. Continue. This is the same game I was just on. Um, Let's make zombies run because um, night speed they're running. Oh yeah, one. Okay. Run, blood moon speed, run. Okay. Yeah, let's uh, let's put them on run. I believe they were walking. Yeah, they were walking. I just changed it. Uh, um, so let's see if um, I didn't test that uh, them running. That's a good thought. Most people would probably play with them running. Me, I'm a I'm a Romero zombie enthusiast, if you know what I mean. Um, the traditional zombies, dead flesh can't run. Um, dead flesh actually would be slow, lumbering, and weak. Um, in fact. A zombie apocalypse wouldn't last more than a week. Um, yeah, the dead would be walking around for a while, but when you think of all of the carrion eaters of this world that actively seeks out to eat dead flesh, um, all the way down to maggots and bacteria and whatnot, um, they, they wouldn't last long. Well, let's get the zombies out here. Here we go. They're running now. Alright, now they're running. So, we'll try it and see how far they can get in the, on them running. Now remember, the top has been damaged. The top is, the outer perimeter is only working halfway. It's not working fully because some of it is destroyed, so. But, anyway. Um, like I was saying, maggots, flies, vultures, Zombies wouldn't last long, especially with just flies and maggots alone. The maggots, the maggots could, could completely desiccate a corpse in a matter of days. Uh, yeah, days. So, flies would be, flies and maggots would be zombies' worst nightmare. And that's why I say it wouldn't last long. Now, they're running, so, um... We should get a lot more down here. Especially since everything's destroyed. So now we get to see, anyway, we get to see what it's like when they're walking. The way 
people like me like them, or when they're running the way crazy people like them, where zombieism isn't the dead walking, but rather uh, a disease or a chemical that makes them turn crazy, and they're still alive, they're just ravagely insane, you know, to where they, you know, want to tear you apart and eat you. That's not really a zombie, in my opinion. If they're running, they're not dead. <coughs> until morning because um, I guess half the night was with uh, walking and the rest of the night will be with them running so we might as well just run it through I mean it's going through now so might as well we're almost there anyway we only got two more two more normal in-game hours oh, somebody made it there I'm not sure why the gun shoots, right? Yeah, see, there it goes. It should be shooting, but... Well, it should have been shooting before that, but I don't know why it, it doesn't. Maybe they're not in the right spot to be noticed by the camera? I don't know. The camera, I've checked all the cameras, and it's that entire area that they're looking right there. Right up to this right here, this run right here, that camera right there above me, ought to catch them. And should turn on the uh, the dart trap. That's what they do. And it, uh, not only that, but it should also turn on the uh, speaker behind me. Um, sometimes it is, sometimes it isn't. I'm not sure why it's not. This is 32 zombies on a horde mode. Now, if you turn it up to 64, will it work this good? I don't know.
I think it might hold. I mean, there only one has made it to what here, and that was the dog, and that I think that was a glitch. Oh no, that one guy made it down here too. He was here, right in front of me, getting electrocuted. I remember. Right. But he just sat there and got electrocuted. I just sat here and watched him get electrocuted in front of me. Like, I, didn't ha I haven't had to hit anything other than that dog. And I didn't even have to hit the dog. The electricity would have taken care of him. He was just stuck right there. I don't know how he got there. I'm pretty sure he glitched. It seemed like a glitch because he wasn't there and then all of a sudden he was. So I'm pretty sure he glitched. Well, let's see, two. See if I can make some more shit come. I think the majority of them are dying up top. Maybe they're getting stuck up there or something. And they're disappearing. They don't make it down here. Like some of them are making it down here, but I don't think... I think the, the majority of them are getting stuck up there. Disappearing up top. I'm not seeing enough bodies for 32 fucking zombies. That's what I got it set to right now, 32. On a horde night. Now that means there's 32 zombies at any given time. Now they should all be here at me because there's nobody else playing. One more hour and I still haven't still haven't sweated. So yeah, like I said, this is boring. You know, this is for people who want a safe base where they don't have to worry about anything. 
And uh, imagine if you're on a server where there's other people. Um, I would imagine you wouldn't even get, you know, what I'm getting here. I don't know how much is up there. I've seen some horde nights where there's fucking tons and tons of zombies in earlier alphas. Um, you know, I haven't really played around much with Alpha 19, but um, I mean, it's all right. Oh, yeah. I don't know, I'm, I'm not seeing enough zombies to warrant, you know, 32, 32 of a being on here at any given time. So, like I said, I think they're dying a pop. The majority of them are. I mean, we got a little meat grinder thing going, I guess. Yeah. There's only one place for them to go. And it, and it, it deters them from digging. They don't want to dig. Why dig? This is the path of least resistance right here. They're not looking at these electrical wires at all. Now, as a matter of fact, I don't even think they see these electrical wires as an obstacle. I mean, unless they're walking through them, like, actual, physically walking through bees themselves, the post. Yeah, that's an obstacle, and they'll walk over it, or they'll try to destroy it. But these wires here, they don't even see this. So they're just walking down thinking free meal. And as they're coming down, they're getting shocked and they're like, what the fuck just happened there? I don't know. Let's keep going down. Uh, there's a free meal at the bottom. <laughs> you know? And that's exactly what's happening here. There's a free meal and they want it. And we're almost done with the Horde night. And it's been constantly steady the entire night. And they haven't got to me. And they haven't dug. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to end it once uh, the morning, morning comes here in the half an hour game time. And I'm going to go up top and kill whatever's left and assess the damage, and this has been constant all night that this shit has been going on. Um, other than when I changed it for them to run. See, they're running now. Remember, all I did was that little change, but I did that all on stream. There's no cuts, there's no nothing. This is all one take here. I'm not seeing any cops, I'm not seeing any detonators, I'm not seeing any spiders, um, so I'm not seeing any bears, so I would imagine that, that it would work the same for them too. Um, will, it, will it set off a cop, or will it set off a detonator guy, a demolition guy? Uh, that I, I, I don't know. It probably, maybe. Uh, maybe not. Um, but, it's working now. Um, if I knew how to set the day past, I don't know, day 16 or day 18, whatever it is, to get it to a higher date, to, for a bigger horde with more tough zombies, um, I would do that in test it. But for now, um, it's normal zombies, I guess. We'll have to do. Will it work as barrels? 
Yeah, I would imagine it would work for ferals and all that at a much longer duration. Um, it would take a while, a little while longer for them to be to be killed as they're making it down here. Would could one feral make it down here? Or uh, yeah, I mean it's a good possibility. <coughs> That's when you use your stopgap. If your horde knight is getting so tough that you that they are making it through here, you use your stopgap here. You beat the shit out of them as they're being shot down here. So I mean, look, this morning. All right, let's turn this off. Horde night is over. We don't need to gain any more attention now. We'll let what's, die, what up, what's up there die, and then we'll go up there and kill the dogs and see what kind of damage we're dealing with. And then you can assess for yourselves whether this is something for you or not. Um, I don't know if I'm the originator of this. This is just something I come up with. I'm sure other people have done this, so I'm not claiming this. The only thing I'm claiming is that, um, you know, people on Facebook, uh, on the Facebook forum, Seven Days to Die forum, are asking for, uh, uh, you know, an easy, safe, I don't know if this is easy, but it's, it's certainly safe, a safe board base that they can uh, spend the night on. So... Fucker dies. Turn this shit off. Now. Yeah, here comes another one. I just assume let the electricity do its job. And make it quiet up there. But now I have to go up there and deal with it. use two batteries overnight. Two purple car batteries. So full car batteries in case anybody wants to know what it takes to power this set up overnight. To a horde night. To a 32 zombie horde night. So uh, that's not 32 zombies throughout the night. That's 32 zombies on the map at any given time. Which, in this case, all of them would have been at my location at this time. So, yeah, take that with a grain of salt. I'm not exactly sure how many zombies we went through last night, but it was quite a bit. I'd say over 100. It's possible it was over 100. Still got more. Holy fuck. Alright, let's turn this off. sure you would have ladders. I've got them down below, but I didn't feel like grabbing them. And like I said, this is just testing. Dogs, um, uh, 
let's see what kind of damage. Dogs can't go down ladders anymore. Let's see. Anything busted? Uh, what do I need to test the... Oh, yeah, I got one. Uh, where is it? Yep. Let's see. What is damaged? This will tell me what is damaged. That's not damaged. What is this damaged? That's damaged, see? Yeah, I knew these would be damaged. Uh, let's see. This one. This one's completely gone. So, as of right now, the only ones that have electricity is this strip right here. Uh, they're getting damaged on. They're not no longer getting damaged here or here around the perimeter. So that's to be expected, you know. Um, they didn't make it through. So, and none of this is damaged. This is not, this is in perfect condition. Um, you have to replace one here. Yeah. Uh, replace one here, replace a gate here, uh, iron bars, or whatever you can use. Uh, you could use, um, you know, steel plates or whatever. I just used iron bars just because it looks good. Uh, let's see. This one is half damaged. Yeah, you'll have to fix that, but these are all intact. Let's see. What's not intact here? What's that? What is that? Electric fence post. Oh, that's that. Oh, okay. Yeah, the electric fence posts are going to be damaged. Oh, that took a, a hit or two. Let's see what else. This took a little hit. Uh, that's slightly teeny tiny little bit of damage, teeny tiny little bit of damage, a little slight slap here and there, um, this up here, little slap, little slap, very little slaps, um, they didn't really do much, uh, let's see, what do we got here, a little bit, tiny little bit, and remember this one ladder, but easily replaced, if you've got backup ladders and stuff like I do down there, if you're smart and you and you you got backups or backups, you know what I mean. Um, by this time, you would have the resources. If you've got something like this set up, you would definitely have the resources to get yourself out of this jam anyway. No damage to that, uh, and, and a little bit of damage to that. That might have been shorting. No damage there. A little bit of damage on the ladder here. What about these? A little bit of damage there. Uh, slight bit of the damage there, and slight bit of damage there. Nowhere else. Where else? Let's see. Slight. Slight. None. So now we're getting closer down to the bottom, and you're noticing. Oh, there's a little bit of damage there. A good bit there. They may, they were making it through there. Let's see. What do we got here? None. None. No damage down here. They didn't even make it this far. Or if they did, they were... I think that one guy made it to here. Did he make it here? Maybe he made it here. I don't remember. Anyway, so that's the base. That's uh, the, the layout. Um, this was all just a little just this little corridor here was all this was here. And then I, I dug this out and personalized it the way I like it. You know what I mean? I, I, I'm a, I'm, I'm a minimal, a minimalist. So, um, you know, um, I like this. This is cozy. Um, in real life, I would have something tiny, something out of the way. You wouldn't even see the top there. The top would be covered with, you know, grass and dirt and whatever. And, uh, you wouldn't even know I was here. But for this being alone, I left it top the way it is. I just buffed it up. Anyway, um, so this is that base, and I hope you enjoyed it. Um, and yeah, that's the end of that.